what you see in front of you is a wheel horse, 11 horsepower, 5500 watt continuous, 8500 watt peak AC generator with the gas tank removed. If I zoom in a little bit here, That is a 30 milliliter syringe with graduated marks on it to measure gasoline consumption from the engine in very small increments and very, very accurately. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll just take the camera off the tripod here for a minute. And I'll bring you in a little closer, show you the experiment. This is the analog clock that I'll be using. To measure the amount of consumption, hopefully you'll be able to see it on camera once it's filming. There's my Astron VS50M power supply. Albeit a little bit inefficient, it does uh, provide enough juice. That right there is a homemade extension cord with one of the um, AC current carrying wires split out so that I can take my clamp on meter over here and clamp it on and measure the power going into the linear power supply to calculate how much wattage is being consumed by the system. When I ran the cell at about 30 amps, I was drawing about 5.75 amps AC at 120 volts. So, um, figure that it's about 650 watts input. That's just a rough guesstimate, but I'm, I'm guessing that's about what it is. Uh, maybe, maybe 750 watts going in. And I'm losing about 250 watts throughout the whole system in terms of efficiency. Now, power comes out of the DC supply, goes into the pulse width modulator, which is set for a fixed 30 amps. You see the capacitor pack across the DC input terminals, and then the output of the pulse width modulator goes up to the top of the VSPB cell. I have two stages of bubblers. The first stage bubbler is strapped to the side of the VSPB cell. The outlet tubing goes to the second stage bubbler and then on the end of the second stage bubbler I have a basketball needle filler valve that I use to inject the HHO into the carburetor of the generator. I also have a 300 watt painter's lamp that draws um, two and a half amps I think, 2.75 amps, I forget what, it's, what it says it's, it's rated at, but it's a 300 watt painter's lamp and I will be using that as a load to calculate how quickly the gasoline is consumed under load and then how much of that I can recover by injecting HHO into the carburetor. The experiment is laid out this way. I'm going to take a measurement with the uh, with the lamp connected to the output of the generator and measure the rate at which the gasoline, a fixed amount of gasoline, is consumed. Then I'm going to take the HHO, inject it into the carburetor, powered from AC coming from the house first, to see how, how it affects the uh, rate of consumption of the gasoline. Then I'm going to connect the VS50M to the AC outlet jack of the generator, and place that as an additional load on the generator and if the rate of consumption is still less than it was when I ran it without any HHO at all then I will know that there is a net gain in total system efficiency. If it is consumed faster then I'll know there's a, there's a net loss in total system efficiency. Obviously the hype that we're all promoting is that there is a total net gain and today on this day we are going to find out. Okay, I have the needle filler valve, uh, needle filler secured now with a twist tie, just holding it to the air bleed inlet on the carburetor. I'm going to restart the gasoline engine and we'll run this test again. All right, just choke, give it a little bit of choke.
HHO is going. Stopwatch running. See how nice and smooth that's running right now? That's because of the HHO. 15 seconds. I don't know how well you can see this. There's the level of the gasoline. We've now consumed 10 milliliters in 30 seconds. Five seconds. And mark. Sixty seconds. Twenty milliliters in sixty seconds. Reset the stopwatch. Top it off again. Do it one more time. Give ourselves a good baseline. Stopwatch running. According to the AC ammeter, we're drawing 5.93 amps from 120 volts AC. Now this is AC coming in from the house right now. In a moment, I'm going to take this and I'm going to transfer it over to the outlet from the generator and rerun this same test with the additional load now placed on the generator. Ah, we're getting a much longer run time right now. We're at 60 seconds and I haven't finished using up 20 milliliters. Sixty-five seconds, 20 milliliters in sixty-five seconds. 